Not all vinegars are created equally. They're made from all types of ingredients and their pH and acetic acid levels vary. Some are filtered, refined, distilled, kosher, heated, pasteurized, organic, and some come with the mother. When the mother is young, it starts out as a cobweb-like structure. It's a living, breathing, and growing colony. So as long as it has food, which is the sugar from the apples or any other fruit, and oxygen to breathe, it will continue to grow and strengthen in potency. When it's more developed, it may look like one intact structure, but under a microscope, you can see that tons of good bacterial and yeast microbes detach and flow throughout the liquid. The larger and more mature the mother is, the more of healthy bacterial and yeast microbes are floating around in the liquid. Fun fact! Did you know your GI tract or gut has the largest population of bacteria in your whole body? Each organ that makes up your GI tract has different amounts, but most of them live in your colon. A healthy person is supposed to have a ratio of about 85% good bacteria and 15% bad bacteria. A balanced environment and high levels of good bacteria do a good job at keeping the bad bacteria at bay. But sometimes, mainly due to our diets and lifestyle, the bad bacteria can grow out of control and cause crazy bloating to serious digestive issues and a number of random health issues. You'll be surprised to know just how many diseases start from your gut. When you drink apple cider vinegar, apart from its alkalizing and antifungal effects, a few amazing things happen. It elevates the acidity in your stomach, which is great because it helps you break down and digest food faster. Also, the microbes from a developed mother has a symbiotic effect, meaning it adds both probiotic bacteria and prebiotic fibers to your intestines. Probiotics are good bacteria and yeast, and prebiotics serve as food for the probiotics to grow and flourish. And trust me, in today's world, a lot of our health issues, skin issues, and hair issues originate from an unhealthy gut because an unhealthy gut can eventually make our body toxic and stop functioning properly. Also, your intestines is where food is processed and absorbed into your bloodstream. The stuff in your blood is what feeds everything in your body, including your hair follicles. So there's a real connection between the health of your body and the health of your hair and skin. The benefits of apple cider vinegar with a developed mother doesn't just stop there. Take a look at this body scan. Yep, all those pretty colors are bacteria, some good and some bad. When you do an apple cider vinegar rinse, you benefit in two ways. First, the acetic acid eats away and kills a good number of bad bacteria. And second, all those good bacterial microbes floating around in the liquid are also added to your scalp, creating a super healthy and balanced environment. So it turns out an apple cider vinegar rinse can offer more benefits than just making your hair shiny. With that said, the best way I can describe the mother in apple cider vinegar is a nutrient and mineral rich colony with good bacteria, yeast, and enzymes. So if you plan on drinking apple cider vinegar, making it yourself is a lot more beneficial than using a store-bought brand because you can grow the mother to whatever size you want and make the liquid as good bacteria rich as you want. Also, keeping it exposed to oxygen and reusing it will keep the mother alive, growing, and healthy. Here's the recipe to my daily digestive cleanser. My recipe has four ingredients, water, ginger, lemon, and apple cider vinegar. Shave off the skin of the ginger root and slice it into pieces. Put the ginger and some water into a pot and let it boil for about 10 minutes or so. You'll know it's ready when the water gets darker. The darker the water, the more potent it is. 
Pour the ginger tea into a cup and let it cool. Don't throw out the ginger right away. Ginger is a potent root and it has its own antifungal and antibacterial properties. So you can just leave it on the stove and reuse it for up to three days. When it's cooled off, squeeze a lemon into the cup. If one whole lemon is too much for you, start with half and work your way up over time. Then add about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I've been drinking this every morning for the past year or so. I can't start my day without it. It's like my coffee. Amongst other great benefits, drinking this first thing in the morning helps your gut digest food easier throughout your day. Here are some questions you may be thinking. I hope they're helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.